Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. I'm your host, Falling Titan, and today we got the top two dive watches from the 2020 Seiko catalog here to look at. Now, the SPB149J1 Limited Edition and the SPB153J1, the Green Willard X. How do you compare these two icons? It's a tough one. But we're going to try. These are not full reviews. These are just to see them side by side, help people make the decision. I've seen people asking for help. Which one do I get? I've seen it a lot. I wasn't going to do this video, but here we are. And I'm going to hopefully try and help you guys out in deciding which one to get. This is just to see them together in all aspects. Beautiful, stunning watches, but guys, no matter what you pick, you've made the right choice. If you pick the Willard, you made the right choice. If you pick the 63 Mass, you made the right choice. If you picked, if you got both, then yeah. What's what's more right than right? Okay, so first the weight 102. They're both on Tropic straps. The Willard 102, both on the same Tropic straps, 20 millimeter. Did we get 102 again? 102, 103. Oh, back to 102. So <laughs> let's just confirm that exact same weight. Yep. Wow. Okay. I always thought the Willard was a bit heavier. So they are the exact same weight on Tropic straps. Unbelievable. Exact same weight. All right. So <laughs> that's a little bit uh, shocking because this feels a little bit heavier. Maybe it's just the mental look of the cushion case seeing it on the arm uh, makes it feel heavier but yeah there you go same weight same movement 6r35 a 70 hour power reserve 21 6 uh, vph 24 joules hacking hand winding coin edge bezels one is a more vintage straight style and one is a little bit sloped Okay, we're gonna compare the sizes now. Let's check out the 63 mass, SBDC 107, also known. 40.5, exactly what Seiko says. 13.8 height, but remember there's a millimeter in double dome, sapphire sticking out. And then 47.5 lug to lug. 20 mil lug width, same as this. They have the same exact straps on. Now, the width, 42.2, very nice. Height, 13.7. And we got the lug to lug, the most important feature, 46. Uh, smaller lug to lug than the 63 mass. It's going to be very wearable. If you're worried about that cushion case being too big, it is not like a turtle. Trust me. Now, here's an interesting feature or fact. Let's check out the bezels. Let's do it this way. Sorry, guys, I nicked the camera. 40 millimeter bezel. So it's going to wear like a 40 millimeter watch. And let's look at this 40 millimeter watch. 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter bezel. So almost the same bezel. They're obviously different in design, similar, but different. Now their diameters are both 40 millimeter. So this will wear like a 40 millimeter just with a cushion case surrounding it. So no worries there. Now, if we look at the turtle, the real turtle, I mean, not the real turtle, the reissue, 42 and a half just on the bezel and it's about I believe 44 and a half here. Let's check it out. So if you can't wear a turtle, the Willard is your answer. Yep, 45. No worries there. So this one wears a lot bigger because of that wider bezel, bigger crystal and bigger cushion case. This one's going to wear like a 40 millimeter because of that 40 millimeter bezel. All right, so if you can't wear the giant turtle, 
get one of these. Both are stunning. Quality a lot higher on this one. This one's a little bit more tinny. Now we added a, um, a sapphire to this one. It's uh, hard lex originally. Now the bezel on the Willard, very smooth action, good resistance, very high quality feel and nice sound. I missed it. Okay. Sorry guys. Same on the 63 mass. Very similar, maybe exact same feel. Feels a little bit dampened, good clicks, good resistance, high quality feel. I think I got that one. <laughs> All right. So hopefully this is helping guys. I don't envy your decision because it is tough, but when in doubt, get both. I know that's the <laughs> trademark uh, saying in the watch industry, get both. There's the case back. They have very um, similar case backs, but that one's limited, so it's a little bit different. There you go. We did the weight, we did the dimensions. Wristwatch check, uh, Blue Lagoon SKX mod. Love this watch. Should I put it on the wrist? Now you guys can watch the full reviews if you wanna see it on the wrist. This is just to help you guys decide which one you guys want. Now, the 63 mass is basically the Black Bay 58 for Seiko, their first dive watch. Black Bay 58, their first dive watch, the, the Tudor um, Oyster Prince Submariner. Sorry guys, I nicked the camera. So both the first dive watches for the company, both epic proportions, we just did the dimensions. Both very historic and amazing watches, but they're reimagined slightly different with new and improved looks. Look at that brushing on that case. Laser accurate. It's actually similar to a luxury watch. And I've seen a lot of um, luxury watch owners compare this watch to their luxury watch. Black Bay 58, Submariner. One guy who has a Submariner a couple days ago said, this is the first watch that made him take the Submariner off. Look at that brushing. Unbelievable quality. Wow, faceted lug, uh, lug tips, beautiful. Now this case is special because it's their first dive watch and it's a home run for Seiko. I can see new colorways in the future and hopefully they keep the 62 mass line going forever, just like Rolex keeps the Submariner going on forever. When you think Rolex, you think Submariner. Of course, there's other watches like um, uh, Oyster case, Perpetual, uh, OP, Datejust, of course, of course. But Submariner, Rolex, we want, we want Seiko to be the same thing. We want this to be going on forever. We don't want it to end in 1970 and stop. Same thing as the Willard. Now Seiko has new dive watches, like relatively new, Sumo, Samurai, Monster. They don't have the history, but they're still great. Some people prefer vintage, and that's why these are doing well for Seiko. Just like the Black Bay 58 has saved Tudor, these are definitely gonna save Seiko. Now this watch, you're not gonna get that case finishing that the 63 Mass has. It's still really, really well done. Better than the Turtle. There's a little bit of damage there. This watch has been through hell. I can show you guys there was a lot of quality control issues with this one. Uh, the hands were off. The timing was off. The had beat error. I fixed it all. Uh, quick story. My, my fingernails were a little bit off in my first Willard review. My, my wife said you should get a manicure for YouTube because you do YouTube. And I said, uh, never done that before in my life. I went. They made me take off my watch. It fell four feet onto tile uh, ground. Uh, mini heart attack for any collector gut-wrenching situation the watch stopped i gave it a little smack it started going up again and working again 
then it kept stopping. So I guess the hand uh, came loose. The second hand was touching the crystal because it kept stopping at the same point. Also, I took this bike riding, tough trails. It got dinged up a bit. Also, it hit a door jam already. Uh, this watch has been through hell, but now I'm, gonna sh I'm showing the videos now probably while I'm editing it of uh, how I fixed the hands, how I regulated the watch, how it's doing better than this one now. And these things are tanks. That's why it's a war watch. Vietnam War, the soldiers loved this watch. And I understand why. It's a tough little uh, monster. This one, this one's probably just as tough, guys. But this one has the history. First Seiko dive watch, yes, that's good history. But this one has conquering the North Pole. First watch solo. Vietnam War. Okay, and it's a movie watch, which also adds a notch to someone's belt, the movie watch Apocalypse Now. So this watch, much more history. I love it. I gravitate towards this one and it wears like a 40 with just a little bit of a cushion sticking out. They both have drilled lugs and they're both phenomenal watches. So this one I would choose. This one I might get rid of. I might trade it for a, a long jeans sector dial let me know down in the comments. Am I crazy? Talk me out of it down below in the comments. All right, guys? <laughs> uh, anthracite uh, Tropic, beautiful. Stainless steel insert, aluminum insert. Now this one has a little bit of a loom pip misalignment. You can see it exaggerated as I turn, but the hands were perfect. This one, hands were off, uh, but the insert is perfect. So Seiko's been doing aluminum inserts a lot longer than steel, so maybe they're gonna get this one right in the future. Definitely Seiko's moving up market to try to survive in this world, and they, uh, they're they gonna slowly adapt, and the quality is gonna get up. It's already up, I can already tell from uh, the, pa the past watches. I can already feel the quality uh, difference. They, these feel great don't feel like those so there is something it just gives a positive impression of quality when you're holding these things uh these not so much but maybe this one because i modded this one to the nines and uh yeah this one's an exception <laughs> all right so whichever one you guys choose let me know down in the comments and i hope you enjoyed this People were asking for it. I didn't want to do it, but I got a lot of requests, but I hope it helps out because these are tough to compare. They're very different, but they're very also similar. Great crown action on both, much more refined. You might not be used to it if you're used to uh, other Seiko crowns. They, they really are a lot smoother and be more gentle with them guys. Do not cross thread them. Take your time, do some reverse threading and you'll be fine. Let's check out the loom. All right, my lights are on in the background, but you can you can see they're the same loom. These are a little bit less intense than the original uh, Lumabrite, like on the SKX and the Turtle, but these apparently last longer. So something to take note of. Man, look at that. They look great in this lighting. Look at this, the insert on this looks brown now. I love how it changes color. Never the same color on the Green Willard. Awesome. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. Guys, I have thousands and thousands of subscribers, but I don't have much on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, please. Uh, sometimes like when I did the mod on this one and fixed it, I posted on Instagram. So you just wanna be following there as well. All right, please like, share, and subscribe, and good luck choosing which beauty you want. And I'll see you in the next one.